Yeah, hello, good morning to you all. Um, good morning, good morning. Sir. Yeah, thank you very much. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. This is the first day of June 2018, and I'd like to uh, thank God for keeping us uh, so far, and uh, I wish you all the very best in the month of June. Uh, I'm sorry that uh, we have to call the meeting so early. Uh, it's 6 a.m. in Burundi. It's uh, 5 a.m. in... Uh, uh, it's, it's 7 a.m. in Nigeria. It's 5 a.m. in Accra, where Fred Awa is. Uh, at my end, it is uh, 7 a.m. Uh, the reason uh, we've scheduled it as early uh, as it is is because uh, I have to go for a meeting at the African Union headquarters in about an hour, 30 minutes. So then I have to run the virtual class for groups one and two. So I welcome you all, those that have been able to make it to class today. And uh, we're going to start our presentation. Today we are looking at uh, uh, what you intend to do for your project. And what I have asked that you should do, just prepare two slides. Uh, the first slide will give us uh, insight into what the topic is and uh, how you do your methodology. And the second slide will tell us how you do your analysis and the others. Uh, the first person to submit is Pamphil uh, Bambasi. Yeah, yeah, Pam -Pam. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I know you are ready, Pamphil. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Pamphil, uh, I'm loading your presentation now, and I'm going to invite you to please take the floor to make your presentation. Pamphil, you can start now. Yes, sir. Yes, we are listening to you. Pamphil, you are wasting time. The title of my... Yes, the title of my proposed thesis is The Protection of Refugees in Burundi in Regard of International Law. Yeah. This is the question. Yes. Do you want me to read the research questions for you? On yeah. the basis of domestic law and the international provision, it has tried to fulfill its international obligation to protect the refugees. Yeah. To, to answer this general question, it is into two specific questions. Yes. What is the content of the principle of refugee protection in Burundian law? Okay. How does Burundi comply with the norms of international law and the protection of refugees? All right. The ultimate objective being to propose adjustment to make the protection of refugees in Burundian law more concrete, effective, and efficient. We should, at the end of the week, and as a modest contribution, be able to answer the following question. Okay. What improvement needed to be made in the legal, institutional, and good practice framework for good refugee production in Burundi? Yes. Methodology for data collection and analysis. My yes. thesis project will analyze the evolution of refugees' protection in Burundi since 1959, the year of the first refugees in on Burundian soil until today. The research will be the documentation related to field practice. In the documentation, yes. I will confront the international Burundian regulations with the higher standards. For the of these rules, I will use the method of interpretation recognized in law, okay. such as literal interpretation, use of preparatory work, Good. And so on. Okay. I will also make use of the jurisprudence of international, regional, and national courts. Of course. Of course, I will go to the field with the refugees in the camp for interviews. The question guide will be prepared with questions and sub questions. Intended on one hand for the administration of the camp or authorities in charge of the protection of refugees such as National Office for the Protection of Refugees and the stateless person on PRA and refugees to a representative sample. To analyze the data, I will use the quantitative method and the qualitative method because there's two approaches. 
I'll do the same. They overlap to propose detailed analysis and useful result. Thank uh, you, sir. Thank you very much, Parfil. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you didn't switch on your video, Parfil, but it's fine. Uh, Parfil has submitted his, uh, what he plans to do, which is very nice. Uh, what? Uh, okay, thank you, Parfil. We can see you now. Uh, what? Uh, that, that's very good. So you proceed with your with your work. Uh, for this project, I was thinking you could set up on on an online questionnaire uh, for people who, uh, who I mean who know about this problem of refugees as stateless persons and just ask them to fill ask them one or two questions on the online questionnaire uh, on the basis of which you'll then be able to uh, uh, draw your graphs and uh, get your tables uh, percentages in place but anyway no, no no problem this is very good and uh, we appreciate your efforts well done Pamphil Mpambase uh, I'd like us to go now to Clement Ndorisimpa. Uh, Clement, are you here? Uh, you can switch off your your video now. Yeah, you've done so. Clement Ndorisimpa, are you here? It's not. Uh, Henry, are you here? Kaba Yegeye, is Henry here? Henry is not in class today. Akkad, are you here? Akkad is here. Yes, I'm here. I can I'm see you with your... I'm here. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, loud and clear. Loud and clear. Uh, Akkad, what's... I'm afraid I can't on my video. No problem at all. What's the name of your, your son that you are carrying here? What's the name? It's it, it's Ether Hand. Oh, wonderful name. Thank you very Either. much. That's good. Yes. That's good. Yes. So you have the floor to make your yes. presentation. Uh, yes. Please present. Thank you sir, for the floor. Yes. The title of the project is The Need for ESP in Burundi. Yes. What do tertiary teachers say about it? Okay. My research questions are first, how far are tertiary English teachers in Burundi yes. familiar with the theory and the practice of ESP? Okay. Second, what are their views on the need for the ESP in Burundi higher education? Okay, good. In order to to collect the, the data and anal, analyze them, yes, the data will be collected by means of an online questionnaire. Brilliant, brilliant. The subject, the subject of this study, are especially in teaching at the University of Burundi Good. and higher teacher training school or a normal period in Burundi. Excellent. Since target population is not too large, no. the questionnaire will be sent to as many English teachers as possible Good. via email and Good. other social medias such as Facebook, WhatsApp, and so on. Good. Some of the item in the questionnaire will be put on latent scales Excellent. ranging from two to five points. Then there will also be open-ended questions. Excellent. So to analyze the data, mm -hmm. I'm going to use uh, the split statistics. Wonderful. And the points will be reported in percentages. Excellent. And Excellent. I can. I'm so proud of you. Very good, very good, very good, very good. I can't hear you people clap for him. I can't hear you people clap for Pamphil, for Akad. Now, very good, very good, very good. Uh, we look forward to this uh, exciting study. And uh, it's my. Uh, I like the way you've said it. You're going to send by email. You're going to send by WhatsApp. You're going to send the link, you know, by other methods, uh, other platforms. This is very, very good. Congratulations. Any quick questions for Akkad? If not, we go to Oda Kayon. Oda Kayon, are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, Oda Kayon, yes, I can see you, ma'am. I can see you, ma'am. Now, you need to help me today. Did I pronounce your last name correctly? Is it Kayon 
or Kayon. How, how is it pronounced? Okay, she's not. She's, she, yeah. So, are you ready for us, ma'am? Yes, I am. Okay, that's good. So let's. Uh, so let's go. Morning. So please go ahead with your presentation, Oda Kayon. We are waiting for you, madam. Or if you are not ready, we we'll move on to the next person. Okay, Oda okay. Kayon is not ready. The title of my project is assessment of the use of connective in academic life by undergraduate students from the University of Burundi. Okay. Uh, the research questions are to what extent do undergraduate students yes. from the University of Burundi use connectives in academic writing? Okay. The second research question is do undergraduate students from the University of Burundi Yes. Use connectives appropriately. Yes. Then we can hear you now. Connect. I use one instrument. I I design the. I will design a questionnaire Excellent. using book forms. Very good. Software. Very good. Proud of and, you, madam. Uh, Very good, this, yes. So this, this question is to from the University of Nairobi. Yes. Um, it will be sent using a lookbook. Uh, yes. Okay. And the difference Bye. Tables and graphs. Very, very good. Very good. I, I, I want an applause for Oda Kayon. Very good, madam. Very good. Very good. So I look forward to the findings of this study, uh, what the English teachers will be, uh, or, or, the, or the graduates will be responding to you. So you are going to have a, 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 an exciting end of course project. So congratulations, madam Oda Kayon. Now, uh, we we'll move on now to, uh, uh, who is this now? This is Richard. Richard, Richard, are you, are you back? Richard, uh, Richard, are you here? Richard is not here yet. Uh, Richard. Uh, Gertrude. Gertrude, are we there? Uh, Gabriel, please switch off your video for now. Madam Oda Kayont, can you switch off your video? Switch off your video, Oda Kayont, yes. Uh, Damilari, uh, let's see. Uh, Femi Gerola, I can see you there. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. That is good. So let's take Femi Gerola. Uh, Femi, you you have the floor. Yes, you have the, the floor, Femi. Title of my, of my thesis is a comparative study on yes. the part of National Padama Society. Very good. Beneficiary from in Lagos and Oyo State in Nigeria. Very well. Based on the focus of my study, uh, the following research questions will be answered. Okay. One. So, sorry, Femi, Femi, it would have been nice for you to number them, one, two, but now I don't know which one is one, which one is two, which one is three. It would have been nice for you to number them, but go on. You are numbering them verbally now, which is nice. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, how, one is how effective is the National Padama Development Project, Lagos and Ohio State. Two, to what extent... As the National Padama Development Project contributed to raising the income of beneficiaries in these two states. Three, what are the challenges to the success of the National Padama Development Project? Four, what interventions can be developed 
to tackle the problem faced by the National Padama Development Project. Uh, my method of data collection will be on uh, will be a questionnaire, which is going to be which will comprise um, both closed-ended and uh, open-ended questions, which is going to be divided into sessions according to the way uh, we were taught using the Google Forms and uh, in line with the study objective. Also, uh, the questionnaire is going to be divided into sections. Okay, okay, Fabi, we can see the se Fabi, we can see the sections there. So let's save time because your number two slide is uh, too uh, too loaded. Just give us the highlights very quickly. Thank you, sir. Uh, and the and some uh, in-depth interview will also be done by the, uh, by me, which I I will interview some farmers because they are the beneficiaries. So, and the method of data analysis is going to be uh, using this questionnaire, loading them into a, an SPSS, a statistical package for social sciences. And also, I will use a content analysis in uh, analyzing the interview. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Femi. Well done, well done, well done. Uh, Richard is back, yes. Uh, Femi, thank you. Very well done. Any quick comments for Femi? Uh, Fred? Fred is offline, okay. Now, uh, Femi, it is very good, but recall that for this end-of-course project, you are not supposed to go to all those things you say you want to do. Interview, SPSS, no. You are only supposed to use the product from the analysis of Google Forms, just the tables and the graphs, you know, as, uh, as as simple as that. So just listen to the others. you find that nobody is talking about interview, nobody is talking about. That's for the, you know, for the purpose of this course. We're just doing, uh, we're customizing the uh, our work to fit in with what, what we learned. Yeah, so nobody is going to be using SPSS uh, in the course uh, for the for this purpose. But you have done very very well, Richard. Are you back, Richard? Yeah, I'm back. Okay, fine. So let me take give you the floor uh, to make your presentation, Richard. Hello, are you coming me? Yes, I'm asking you to present, Richard. Yeah, okay. If you are asking me, let me begin that greeting you. Yes. And, uh, we greet, uh, we greet I, you I too. About, I am talking about social audit. Yes. And uh, as investment, and what is my research question? The question what are the main preparatories to implement social audit? as an investment in public organization. Yes. So I will be dealing as my methodology, data collection and analysis, I'll be dealing with samples survey. Yes. I will select researchers in management sciences and organizations and human resource managers Good. from my contact list. Then I will send email I will send emails uh, after having done uh, the questionnaire with, within Google Forms. Very good. And uh, my method later will be qualitative and quantitative. Okay. That, but just now I will be uh, doing a documentary analysis. Yes. And uh, I will be using MS Word and Google as that for the data collection. Okay. So thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Richard. Uh, I, I didn't hear the appreciation and applause for Richard. Richard, very well done. Uh, well done, Richard, yes. Now, uh, Richard, uh, for the purpose of yeah. this project, Akkad, you can switch off your video. Akkad, please switch off your video. Uh, for the purpose of this uh, end-of-course project, uh, what we want you to focus yeah. upon, as you, have, as you have seen from the guidelines, just your the research I'll question. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Just focus on. Hello? Yes, just focus on the. 
quantitative, liver the qualitative, liver the content analysis, just focus on the... Richard, can you hear me now? Yes, no, no, no. Oh, okay, so I will send you something on the chat, on this chat message, uh, for you to know that yeah. you, what you have done is good. Uh, uh, let me just send that now, Richard. Yeah. Uh, please focus on the quantitative. Hmm. One minute. Uh, Fred is coming up. Yeah. Data from the Google Forms. So you can leave out the uh, leave out the qualitative bit. Uh, just focus on the quantitative for the purpose of this end of course project. Uh, is that okay, Richard? Uh, you see, I, I got the, the, the problem with my connecting the room in which I'm... Yeah, but, you say uh, so. Check. I, I, see, I have sent a chat to you. I, check check the chat chat window. Hello? I said, check the chat window. You did inform us about your connectivity Hello? problem. Okay, Fred, are you ready? Fred Awa, are you ready? Okay, Fred is not ready. Let's see who is. Gabriel Okito? Gabriel, are you ready? Gabriel, let me see. That's Gabriel here, but it's not uh, active yet. Uh, who else? Gertrude, are we set? Okay, Clement Ndorisimpa, are you ready? Uh, Clement, are you ready? Yes, uh, I'm here. I know. I say. I know you are there. I say. Are you ready? Yes. O yes. Okay, Clement, switch on your video and make your presentation. But I can hardly hear you. No problem. Don't I worry. Don't worry. Just make your presentation. I can hear you. Go ahead. Cle Clement, go ahead. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, the title of the project is Teacher Rate Conceptions of Academic Stance in the Evaluation of Thesis Written by Students Towards the End of Their Undergraduate Studies at Burundi Public Universities. Very good. Uh, the study address addresses the following research questions. I don't know if you are hearing me. Yes, I can hear, yeah, you. We can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the, okay. The study addresses the flow of the research questions. Which 10, 10 features do teacher writers consider important as they evaluate bachelor's degree thesis? Okay. Is there any significance different between writers in a views about which stance features are constitutive of higher quality thesis. Okay. Yes, the methods as the study investigates teacher relators view about academic stance as they evaluate thesis written by senior students towards the end of their undergraduate studies at the public mm -hmm. universities. As many studies on stance in academic writing indicate the ability to express a relevant and a possible stance is a crucial indicator of writing quality and development. Yes. Yes. the ways writer input in the test to signal their attitudes towards the proportional content and the results of the test. Okay. Therefore, I will start to follow a descriptive research. The data will be collected from teachers affiliated to English section at the Colonel Mars Career, High Teacher Training in Poly, and those affiliated to the Department of English at the University of Burundi. 
Those teachers yeah. are involved in the process of evaluating a thesis written by students in order to obtain a degree in English language teaching or in English literature. A questionnaire will be used as an instrument to collect data and the quantitative and the qualitative methods will be employed to analyze the data. All right. Uh, that is the end of that is the end of my presentation. Thank uh, you very much. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Clement and Dory Simpa. Thank you very much. Now the question I'd like to ask you, uh, Clement, if you can hear me, is this. Yes. For the for this end of course project that you are going to submit in two weeks time how do yes. you use how do you collect the data using google forms and then get to have the results uh, presented by way of graphs and percentages so please think about that uh, think about that is that okay is that okay clement yes all right Yes, it is okay. Oh, that's good. That's I, good. I will, yes. I will, I will first ask. I will first ask the teachers yes. who will participate in the in the study. Yes. And ask ask them their email. Yes. And I'll put. Good. I'll design. Yes. Questionnaire. Good. And after designing them. I will send those questionnaires good. to the teachers. Very good. Uh, through the emails. Very good. And they will have to to give me answers. Oh yeah, and that's it. That is it. Okay, okay, okay. You got it. You got it. You got it. Wonderful. Well done. Well done. Well done, Clement. Dori Simpa. Well done. You can switch off your video now. You can switch off your video now. Okay. While we'll take on uh, who wants to present next? Fred, are you ready? Very I'm ready. Okay, we've been looking for you, Fred. Sir Fred Awa. Yes, Fred. Uh, I'm loading your presentation now. And uh, mm -hmm. yes. So, Fred, you have. Yeah, yeah, you have the floor. Mm -hmm. 844. Yeah, I got it. Now, Fred, you have the floor. We asked for only two slides. Uh, anyway, there are two. The third one is black. So, go ahead, Fred. Fred, you have the floor, please. Yes. Okay, sir. I am. Um, I am going to look at perception of PhD students on emerging trends to political stability in Burundi. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my questions are: What is the current state of political stability? Okay. 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 And the second question: the second is, is trends to political stability in Burundi. Very good. Yes, the sample type is of I'm examining only PhD students. The rationale for the first sample is that uh, the, the assumption that PhD candidates have better appreciation of the subject in question and causal factors of qualified to ensure reliability and consistency. The sample size is 30 students. The justification of the sample, I'm yet to find out uh, other works that have used a little sample like this. Okay. And then the limitation is that 30 students are available on the doctoral state limiting my school. All right. The instruments are questionnaires in work. The instrumentation, I will use questionnaires online. Yes. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, somebody is uh, on a vehicle. Uh, if I, if you don't mind, I'm going to take the person off. Uh, it's uh, traveling and there's some noise. But uh, Fred, you can round up now. Yes, sir. Yes, round up, yeah. Okay, so my 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 analysis would uh, be done using content analysis. That is interpreting graphs of relevant literature. 
Okay, that's very nice. That's very nice, uh, Sir Fred. Sir Fred. Uh, uh, because I know it's like 5.30 a.m. your time. You've uh, <laughs> you had this slept. It's actually, it's actually what time? 4.30. 4.30 a.m. My goodness. Wow, I'm so sorry. Uh, my time is 7.30. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Please, Sir Fred. Now, Sir Fred, you did indicate on your slide, let me see now, on your slide two, that your research design is qualitative. It is not qualitative because you are using a questionnaire. It's what? Qualitative? No? Yes, sir. No, it's not. Uh, as we progress during this course of this study, you'll find that it's largely quantitative because you are collecting questionnaire, you are using data, you are drawing graphs, you are doing all of that. So it's more quantitative than qualitative. Uh, you will see as we progress during the course of this, uh, this, this uh, of this course. But you have done very well, Sir Fred. I will deeply, deeply appreciate okay. you. Yes. Who else is ready to present? Kind of uh, format this is. I'm sure. Yeah, it's not opening. It's not opening. I don't know what format. Is it .dps file? Yeah, I, I think we, we, we may not... Uh, yeah, I can't open it. It's not a PPT file that, that you sent. It's not a PPT file. So, Damilari, we have to take you another time because we cannot open... No, it's now giving me up. Is there another person who wants to present? Okay, yes, we have loaded it, Gabriel, Gabriel Okito. So you have the floor. Can you please present, Gabriel? Yes, I'm ready to present. Very good. Please go ahead. My title project is State of Place of Fisher Constant Chain in the city of Uvira, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Okay. And my question research are one, what is the right of fish consumption co cooperative to over source of animal protein in the city of Uvira? Okay. Second question, what is the aver average amount of fish consumed per household per day? Okay, now you go to your second slide, methodology. So fish methodology for data analysis for this study will be used yes the data will be collected from June 1st to June yes yes your connection is not so good, uh, Gabriel. Two thousand. Okay, now the analysis technique. This data collected will be analyzed with the, with the mixed method that combines the qualitative and quantitative results in order to clarify and answer all these questions on the one hand, and on the other hand, to improve the validity of his results using an online questionnaire. Yes, I've finished presenting for you, uh, Gabriel, because we cannot hear you very, very well. So we, we are happy about what you have done. Okay, thank you, Gabriel. Gabriel, I've presented for you. I've done the presentation for you. And uh, it's very good. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we look forward to the results. Thank you, oh, yeah, thank you. The results of uh, your study in the Uvira uh, city of uh, Congo, and uh, we're going to enjoy the study. Uh, very well done. Is there another person who uh, has not presented? Henry Kabayenge, are you ready? Kabayenge, Henry, are you ready? No, we can't hear you, madam. Everybody cannot hear yeah. you. We can't I'm hear you. Uh, Gabriel, can you switch off your yes. video? I can't do it. Okay, thank you. 
Yeah, who, who, who is speaking? Who says she's ready? Who? Panfil, please switch off your video. Gertrude, you can hear me, but uh, your your connection is rather uh, rather weak. Uh, we cannot hear you. Uh, I think you may have to present uh, another time. We asked uh, Gabriel Okito to switch off his video. Uh, he's still switched on. Uh, Gertrude. Uh, uh, yeah, in view of the fact that we cannot hear Gertrude, uh, I'd like to bring the class uh, uh, to a close. And to thank you all for being uh, part of it, Richard Ndai Shimie, uh, Damilare Geberokito, who has refused to switch off his uh, video. Uh, Gertrude, we couldn't hear you. Uh, Richard, uh, uh, Fred, Femi, uh, no problem. Uh, Henri, yeah. Oda, Kayon, Clement, and uh, uh, Panfil Mpambasi, who made the first presentation. So I'd like to thank you all, and uh, we look forward to your getting your end of course project all done. So from me in Addis, it is uh, thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye for now. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Uh, God bless the month of June for us all. Bye. Yeah. So I welcome Group Two. Uh, those that have been able to join us now, uh, I I can see Rene, Ramadan, Elvis. Uh, Melance, uh, Desire, and uh, Francois. Uh, uh, Francois, can you put off your video for a start? It's only when we want you to. Yeah, that's uh, that's fine. That's fine. So this is the first day of June, and uh, I'd like to wish you all a very happy month of June, and uh, to say that we are looking forward to a very exciting presentation. Uh, this virtual class. The presentations that we'll be listening to will be how you intend to carry out your end of course project. The guidelines have been provided and so uh, I will now begin to ask you to make your presentations. Uh, you got to be fast in your presentations because I have to close this class earlier than uh, I will want to, to do it. Uh, Elvis, your video is on. Maybe you want to pull it off. So let us take uh, the first person. Desire, are you ready? Desire, are you ready to present? Because you are the first to submit. Okay, you are not ready. Uh, pardon? Okay, let's move on to, because we have no time to waste. Melans, are you ready? Yes. Melans, you have to speak out a little bit loud. Melans, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, 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 I can see your video is coming up. Very good, Melans. So, Melans, uh, you have the floor uh, to present your two slides. So please carry on. Melans, if you are not presenting now, uh, shift to somebody else. You are wasting the time. Okay, Melans will put you on hold. Who else is ready? I'm ready, sir. Who? Oh, just tell me your name so I can call you. Melans is just waiting. I mean, we don't have time. Ramadan, okay. We we'll take Ramadan. Uh, yes, sir. Just a minute. Let me just look for your slide. Who says he's ready? Rene. Rene, Ramadan, they are all ready. So let me take uh, Ramadan. Uh, what was the timestamp on Ramadan? Yeah, I, I was the first to send the. Oh, wonderful. So I need to be the first to present. Of course, you should be the first to present. You should be the first to present. Let me see whether that, that is the one yes, I'm sir. looking at. Just one minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Is that the one? Uh, uh, okay.
Okay, fine. So, uh, Ramadan, I do not know. When did you present? When did you set it in? On Wednesday. I think that's the same one that I have. Yeah, very good. So, Ramadan, please uh, go on. I have your slide running now. You have the floor. Yes, yes you have the floor. Wonderful. Yes, yeah. Okay. So, as you know, my research about this uh, research of my bacteria or to do in beef and in beef and chicken. Yes. Set to different markets in Zumba Burundi. So, uh, for me, I'll. Yes, we are listening. Yes. Yes, we are listening. Your internet connection. Okay, I found it. No, not nine p.m. Not nine p.m. You, 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 you don't. You didn't check that correctly. So please carry on, uh, Rene. Rene, please carry on. Rene, please carry on. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. My total, uh, my total of disease is overcoming electricity supply in Burundi. What's sustainable? Also. Yeah. So, the research questions are what are the main policies undertaken in Burundi to overcome electricity supply? And the research questions, the report comes and takes. Burundi, the uh, electricity sector are uh, uh, sufficient to satisfy the demand for consumers. The demand for consumers. Yes. That means that sectors. Yes, informal administration. Yeah. If you have some challenge with the internet access, I'll be helping you from this end. Yeah. Okay. Continue, please. Your second slide, yes. Second slide. The second question is uh, Yeah, data collection instruments questionnaire interview. In depth interview will be conducted with the practitioners of electricity supply in the Ministry of Energy and Mines and Regideso to investigate all policies that have been undertaken in electricity supply. A questionnaire will be administered to the sample population chosen among consumers. Yeah, okay. Quantitative data will be obtained by interview. Quantitative data will be treated using statistical methods. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, very much. You've done very, very well. I'm happy about your your, your proposal. Uh, but the question I need to ask you is this. How are you going to uh, get an online questionnaire for use for your end of course project relating to the to what you have just told us so i'd like you to think about this because by june 15 you have to submit a report of the study that you have done on these electricity consumers asking them some questions online and then uh, using google forms and then asking them to, uh, when they have responded, about 20 people, they do your analysis. I'm sure you will uh, uh, take that one on. So again, very well done. So who else is ready? 
Pardon? Elvis? Elvis, wonderful. Now, what's your time? Elvis, what's the what's the time stamp on your... Okay, that is good. I, I, I've seen it. I've seen it, Elvis. Uh, the Elvis, so you have the floor. Elvis. Thank you. Yes, thank you. You have the floor. So you switch on your video. I can see you're coming on. Yeah, Elvis. Good. Yes, carry on. Thank you. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so the title of the project is uh, of the end of the course in Israel, Language Education Policy in Burundi, an investigation of the attitudes towards multilingual education at the same school level. Very nice. I, I asked one research question. Good. Uh, that, that can be divided into two. Uh, this is the most my recent question is attitude to language university teachers, because these teachers are the one teach people who are going to teach at secondary school, who are going to, teach, to implement this multilingual education policy. Okay. Uh, and learners studying at the university, which attitude do they have at towards this multilingual education? Good, good. Um, the methodology. Yes. Uh, This end of this project, combination of both quantitative and qualitative methods can be used. Good. good. The sample, as I said, some of in my study are going to be secondary school. Students study at the university for two years, years, and they come in. Very nice. This collection is good. Very well done, Elvis Nizigama. Elvis, uh, I'm sure you are clapping for Elvis. Yeah, thank you, Elvis. Very well done. I look forward to the results. I look forward to the views of the teachers and the students on this multilingual uh, uh, education thing, the language of instruction. Yes, it is going to be very exciting. Very good, very good. Uh, so who else is ready to present? Francoise, are you ready? Yes, I am. Do you have your yes, slide here? What was the timestamp? But uh, I can't follow the pre presentations. Uh, okay, fine. I can no problem. I will do that for you. Yes. Uh, you can switch on your video now. Yes, sir. Yes, good. So, uh, please, uh, j j just present if you can. Yeah, I can see your slide here. Is it okay? It's okay. Very okay. But can't see you yet. Yeah. Okay. Thank thank okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, pleasure. I am Francoise Zenge. Uh, my pro my project title is Burundian Higher Education Crisis Case of the University of Burundi. Sure. In view of all the problems that undermine the University of Burundi and which are developing in a context of globalization and the, the knowledge economy, Burundi is called upon to meet the crisis of new requirements. Also, Burundi has to structure the reflection around the following questions. What are the causes and the practices of the crisis of the University of Burundi? Yeah. What is the report of the main reforms committees until now to respond to this crisis? Good. 
taking into account of the current crisis and the new requirements of the global context, what what forms the transformations should the University of Cologne undergo in order to improve the reliance quality and management in terms of funding and program design? All right. Regarding the methodology for data collection and analysis, I'll choose next method. Okay. Uh, the questionnaire will be developed in online Good. and, if possible, may be intended for students, teachers, heads of higher education institutions, <coughs> executives from the ministries of education, some partners of the university. Etc. This questionnaire will collect both quantitative and quantitative data. The percentages, graphs, suggestions from responses to my questionnaire will help me in drafting the report. Of course. Given the data to be collected, I will also consult existing documents. That can inform me, for example, about the institutional, the direct development, the reforms undertaken, etc., etc. Wonderful. <laughs> very well done. Very well done. Very well done. Uh, Francois to Isenge. I'm quite impressed with uh, the way you are proceeding with it and the scope of the people who will be responding to your questionnaire. Uh, people in the university, the students, the teachers, the people, people in the ministry. So it is, it is, you know, it's going to be a very exciting uh, study. I'm looking forward to it uh, by the 15th of June. So you have 15 days to collect your data and do your report. So very well done, Madam uh, Tuyishenge, Doctor Tuyishenge. Very well done. All right. So, any other person wishing to thank you? Any other person wishing to present? Yes, yes I'm here. Melance. Melance, I can see you. Wonderful man, Doctor Unduwimana Melance. Yeah. So let let's look for your. Uh, what what's your time? What's his time stamp? I see. I said yesterday. Uh, today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yesterday, Melans. Melans, Melans. Yes. Uh, you say yesterday at 8 p.m.? 8 p.m. Uh, Melans, to this group. That's interesting. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Good. Uh, so, Dr. Melans, do we manner? Uh, you have the floor to present. Please go ahead. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. My, my title of this project is the consequences of goodness and that of the rape on the diagnosis of social school life as a victim of rape. Okay. My, my journal is a question of the psychological and the social and I have three specific questions. Okay. Look at the reaction of the girl with the announcement that yep. second open Okay. Talk about correct data. I I I will they will be correct yeah. data should be okay.
Oh, okay, yeah. Then I will make a, an online questionnaire using Google Form. Okay. Based on I assume about the searches that from where. Yeah. It comes in national way. Yes. Like we sent twenty students for. Okay, that's very yeah. yeah. That time I did Yeah, percentages. Yeah. Yeah, you really check your hypothesis. Wonderful. So that's very good. Very, very good, Melans. Uh yeah, thank you very much. Dr. Nduimana, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mercy, mercy. Yeah, so um, I, I, I think that would be good. Uh, it's a topical issue you are looking at, uh, the rape victim who is pregnant, you know, perceptions relating to that. I, I'm kindly going to request the doctoral students in this course uh, to please do their best to um, respond because it's going to be collecting data uh, from you. So uh, that is it. Uh, thank you again, uh, Melans. So who else is next? Who else wants to present? Now then, you, uh, Nibigira, uh, you, you are not, you, you know, you are the one asking for teleconferencing. So this is teleconferencing. So we are all seeing ourselves. You are in Ujumbura or around Burundi, and I'm in far away at this Ababa. In Ethiopia, capital of Ethiopia, this Obama. So, who else is ready? Naden, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, your internet connection will appear to be slightly problematic, but uh, we are going to take your presentation now. What? When is the yes. timestamp? Yeah, I found it. I found it. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, loud and clear. Now, can you tell me how you pronounce your name? Nadine Nibigira. Nadine Nibigira, Dr. Nadine Nibigira, Dr. N.N. Nadine Nibigira. Yes. Yeah, so you yes. have the floor. Please go ahead. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, um, the title of uh, my project is Burundi in the Mirror of its. History. Yeah, just hold on. Hold on, Nadine. Hold, hold on, Nadine. Look, you talked about, uh, uh, you talked about, uh, what is it, teleconferencing. You can see, we can see you, I can, I, I, your, your purple, your, your, your nice, you know, uh, purple and white dress. Uh, we can all see you. You can see uh, Francois, you can see Desire, you can see Elvis. So this is video conferencing. Yeah. Uh, uh, please carry on, carry on, carry on. Carry on. Please continue your presentation. Know the resistances observed the link. Yeah. Promoted by the international community. Which does not fit or is not in harmony with the reality of the cycles of violence experienced by Burundians in the interior of the diaspora. Yeah. And the third one is to. Not this cyclical crisis require a good understanding of each event to generate an appropriate approach or approaches of transitional justices. Yes. So go on and tell us about your methodology for data collection and analysis. Uh, 
thank you. Uh, it's all for a long time. Yeah, we're losing you now. As well as uh, this Okay, the second data collection technique will be the semi-directive interview. Finally, we will resort to the technique of the analysis of the official discourses in relation to the cyclical conflicts that Burundi has known. The analysis of these empirical data will follow a hypothetical inductive approach uh, understood here as an empirical generalization that results from the data. Now, Madam Nadine, you are going to pay me some money because I've helped you uh, to present because you, we are having <laughs> we are having uh, some uh, challenge from your end. Uh, Dr. Ramadan, uh, I'd like to thank you uh, for being part of this. Elvis, Melance, Desire, uh, Nadine, and uh, Francoise to I, 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 I thank you all for being part of this. Uh, virtual class, which looked at how you intend to do your end of course uh, project. I want to wish you again a very happy month of June, and uh, I want to wish you bye bye for now. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.